Can you picture a world where there was integrity between what a Catholic believed and how they lived their life? Can you imagine young people fully alive in their faith and stepping forward as leaders in our parishes, in our communities, in our country? Would that give you hope? In Revelation, our Lord says, Behold, I make all things new. At St. Paul's Newman Center, we're committed to this renewal. Our mission at Bison Catholic is to change hearts, change lives, and form future leaders. Ten years ago, we started our journey to build a new center. We did so in a culture more willing to build stadiums and steeples, a culture that doesn't recognize the value of every human life, a culture where right is wrong and wrong is right. The pressures facing our sons and daughters have not lessened. But from where I sit today, I'm filled with a lot of hope. I had no intention of coming here and coming to the Newman Center. I actually had no clue Newman Centers were a thing when I first came up to NDSU. I would go to Mass on Sundays, but I wasn't I didn't have much of a prayer life or wasn't really striving. I didn't truly get involved with the Newman Center until this year moving into Newman Living. I was like, finally, I am away from the world of partying. I'm surrounded by Catholic friends. I was kind of blown away by the joy that people have and the more I met people, the more I realized how genuine they were. That was super attractive and so as I made more friends, that's where it kind of caused me to go all in. One of my good buddies invited me initially to Bible study. I'm like, where the heck are we going? He's like, we're going to Bison Catholic. And I'm like, what the heck is Bison Catholic? And where are you taking me? Because we walked right past the Union where I thought we were going to go. And yeah, I, I ended up in that Bible study. The crazy thing about Newman is there's a ton of student-led Bible studies. Like, I don't even know how we have enough students on campus to fill all of them. I've invited a lot of guys from my rugby team. Most of them didn't have any experience with God in their lives. They just are constantly asking questions. We had this meeting, sharing God moments. I really opened up to my friends, the own struggles that I've gone through with, with my own personal family. And I, I broke down crying. And there is this moment where Everyone just got up and hugged me. For the first time, I truly realized how much I am loved by the people at Newman. I don't know if I've ever felt so loved with the community that God was loving me through. It's an experience that I will never forget. I don't think I'd even be at NDSU if I didn't have this Newman Center. I think the only reason I am still here is because I was introduced to this community and the people that really love and genuinely care about me. In a world that feels hopeless sometimes, the Newman Center is a bright light shining for Christ that actually gives authentic, real hope to people. The more I've got to reflect on it, the more I'm just blown away by the fact that this Newman Center exists but then you just see this massive, beautiful Newman Center right across the street from the secular campus. And it's just like, that's not supposed to be there. It would not be possible without all the people who gave and support this place and their prayers. You're a part of this too. If we reach one more soul, that's incredible. Like that in itself is worth all of it. There's no limit to where that could go. This transfiguration is something that is so invigorating about campus ministry because you see the changes in people's lives when they come in as a freshman, by the time they leave as a senior. They've been in a Bible study, they've led a Bible study, they've taught others how to lead a Bible study. They've led other people to Christ. Once they taste the joy of what it's like to lead another person to Christ, there isn't a whole lot of things in the world that can compare to that. 
Michelle was one of those people. We watched her grow, we watched her take off throughout Focus, her, her service at the Diocese of Bismarck. She just continued to really have a huge impact on the life of the church. I always say uh, the, the privilege of being able to work with these tremendous young adults, it gives me a little bit of hope. I mean, there's so many different ways the world, I think it's just, I feel like it's just going crazy, you know, but uh, what, what happens here at the Newman Center is completely transformative and affords an enormous amount of hope, not only for me, but for our communities and, and the life of the church. Your support for this facility, for our programming, we couldn't do it without you. It represents a tremendous return on investment. I believe the Lord wants to use Bison Catholic to change hearts, change lives, and form future leaders for the life of the church today. And this only happens because of you. Join Bison Catholic in our fight for the next generation.